Hey guys, this is Ash here from the Network Studios. Welcome back uh, to another video. Today I'm going to be touring uh, some football stadiums from my friend uh, Steve. Uh, you know him as obviously played Paul in Park Drive and obviously been in a fair few live streams uh, in Los Ashley's and uh, he um, built the best stadium uh, in the shortest amount of time. It didn't take him long to do this one at all and uh, we're going to show you, I'm going to show you it really. Um, it didn't take him long to do like I said and it looks really good. He's used a lot of um, nice detail patterns and uh, these football stadiums that I am going to show you are based from real football uh, stadiums in real from like the Premier Leagues and stuff like that so he kind of builds one then when he's finished he moves on uh, to the next one um, now this stadium doesn't have have a door so unfortunately we're just gonna have to uh, fly in but here we are anyway so you can see it's uh, it's got a nice big pitch it's it's only got one tier um, but it's got you know comfy seats got the goal posts and uh, it looks really nice but uh, you know, I think really deep down it's it's about time we showed you the real one. Uh, this was just a, a little practice marking out thing. Uh, this over here um, is the real deal. This is the, you know, the the, the, the actual thing itself. Um, so I'm just going to take you around the outside. And there uh, you can see there's another one uh, loading in there. I think the, the, there is some what aren't completed. And then I think there's obviously there's a fair few that are completed. So here's the, here's the front. I think this, yeah, this one's the uh, Middlesbrough Football Club. Um, so you might recognise this um, CJ if you happen to watch this video. Um, same as Ben, Jabbo, um, Rob This, you know living up in uh, Middlesbrough and I really do like the front on this one and there's there's so much like happening you know what I mean like it's not just a, a, a blank building going around the outside it's got like you know the red bits what stick out then it's got these red bits what set back then it's got like the badges and then it's got like a mixture of different blocks as well so you can see there's like a bit of quartz black stained glass you've got the red You've got the brick, you've got the windows, looks really nice. And uh, I like the, the actual entrance itself, like this bit with the doors on it. And the big light, the big window glass, uh, which, were, you know, which I think looks uh, quite sick, to be honest. And uh, there's just like loads of good features about the front of this stadium, what just make it look so good. And uh, I can't show you a picture of the real stadium, but... I'm pretty certain it will be a, a good 95%, um, you know, close to the actual real stadium itself. So these would be your changing rooms, obviously, where you'd get ready for the match um, with your showers. You shower off at the end um, if it, you know, if it's been a bit muddy uh, or something, you know, like rain and stuff, and obviously little jacuzzi thing. Um, where you can go and like just chillax after a after a game or m maybe even before a game, and then you know there's number one at this side as well, so you can see these here at this side. Uh, this one I think is a bit bigger, if I'm correct, or I know it's got obviously got writing on the carpet, um, on the floor rather, but I think this one's maybe bigger or maybe a bit smaller. Um, but they both look good. You can obviously tell what they're actually used for. And uh, that's about it. I think it's uh, actually about time to take you onto the actual pitch. Now, this is where these stadiums get a lot more interesting uh, when we get onto the actual pitch. So I'm going to take you to the middle. And I believe Steve has a marking uh, for his pitches. So I believe like all the pitches in every single stadium are the same size. And I think it's something like 50 by 50. But I, I could be I could be wrong. So I think from this middle point, it's like 50 blocks this way um, to the goalpost or something like that. And then 50 blocks this way to that goalpost, um, if I'm right. I know it's something like that because I've helped him fill a pitch in uh, before. But um, here we are. 
here is the Middlesbrough FC. Now, I like the writing on the seats, and I like how the, the black is kind of like the shadow of the white if you get what I mean. So when you look at it like that, it kind of looks like it's got a black outline around the uh, the lettering, uh, which look really, really nice. Um, the tiers are really good. And it doesn't just go completely round. Like, you see how at this side, like, it goes a little bit higher up than it does at this side. I think that actually looks pretty sick how it does that. I mean, I don't know much about football stadiums because I'm not really a football fan. But to me, like, you know, they all look good. Um, but, you know, I thought I'd show you guys uh, these stadiums because, uh, you know, I think they're pretty cool. Like, But um, you can see the pitch, obviously, the goalposts, the outline. And uh, I like how he's done the pitch, like, not just normal grass. He's got the... I think it's the, the lime carpet, and then I also think he used the, the dark green uh, carpet, something like that, um, anyway, but, yeah, th this one definitely looks really good, um, I've, I've, I've missed a few of the new ones, I think, so, um, as of right now, this one is my favourite, uh, you guys can also um, leave a comment down below on uh, which one's your favourite. So we'll go over to one that's in progress. So this one over here is in progress. And uh, look at this one, guys. Um, whoa, that, that's good. Whoa, I want to know how he did that with the, with, the, with the banners. How he put the lettering on. That's pretty sick. Um, yeah, they, they, I think this one's definitely going to be a good one. Um, it says something like Chang, I think. Chang, I think that's what it's meant to say, but I definitely want to, um, I definitely want to know how, um, how, um, he did that with the banners, because I've got an idea for something with them banners now, um, but anyway, back to the point, this is one that's, uh, under construction, so you can see, like, it's going through the early stages, having the, uh, the, the tiers, the tiering, uh, worked out, uh, the pitch has obviously just been marked, and stuff like that. Uh, I think this one as well is a, another maybe under construction one. Um, this one looks good, but um, you know, obviously they'll look even better when they get more uh, completed. So let's go back to some more that are completed because there's quite a few on this map. Uh, this map is quite big. I used to have a full map um, that was that showed everything. I went round and. Uh, filled the map in but I don't have it all filled in anymore for some reason so there's the Middlesbrough one where we were just before uh, we'll take you over to this one now this one again you know some really good detailing on the outside of the building and how like the quartz is mixed with the brick um, really gives some good effects and again look at the front like do you know what I mean like so good like St Mary's Stadium um looks amazing on on the out on the front like with all the glass and you know the different bits of color um we've got the changing rooms again and the changing rooms are different in each one um yo oh we have a full map oh yeah i've got it oh yeah all right so here we are guys now you see in the middle of the map where it's a lot more black um that's because when or our, our kid Steve started constructing this map. Um, he was putting car parks and roads around the stadium. But he um, has a YouTube channel, Steve Games, checking him out. And um, he actually uploads tour videos of stadiums once he gets them done. And he also has another map, I believe, for requested stadiums. So people like request him to build a stadium. And... Um, you know, then he'll go ahead and build it. Um, but, um, yeah, he wanted to spend more time actually getting the stadiums done uh, to get the videos up rather than, like, worrying about car parks and putting roads around. So he's going to do the roads at a later date. And, uh, anyway, you can see we've got the other changing room here. Um, and then we'll take you out to the pitch. So we'll go to the middle again, um, and then we'll just have a look up. Did I just... Oh, yeah, I'm in the middle now. 
Jesus Christ, that is one big holy middle. Um, I wasn't expecting that. And, uh, and here we are, guys. So you can see this one isn't as detailed with the tiering. But then at the same time, you, you've got to think, you know, he's building these off of the real stadiums. So this would obviously be how the tiering's like in the real stadium. Um, but it still looks good, like the corners are good. Um, and I believe he uses a similar corner pattern for every stadium, uh, which I think is good. You know, like sticking to one pattern, like the same pitch size, you know, the same corner, you know, because that way you're getting the stadiums done. And they, they still look good, like each one still has a different, you know, you can still tell what stadium it is and you can still tell that it looks good. Uh, but it also gets them done, which is good. Now, I don't know if this is a, a running track around the outside. Uh, possibly not. I think it's just the... I think it's just the, you know, the outside, the, you know, the offside, whatever you want to call it. Um, but it does look the colour um, of a running track. Um, so I think I'll show you maybe one one more stadium, um, possibly. Now, and then we'll, uh, you know, we'll call it... Uh, I think we'll call it a day. There's another stadium down here, um, which again is under construction, but um, I won't show you that one just yet. We'll uh, take the, we'll take the, you know, we'll take the video over to this stadium. Now this is a bit more of a smaller one. This kind of, in a way, reminds me more of a local town's football club than an actual stadium. If if you get That's what stable. I mean. Stevenage but yeah it does it reminds me of a little town football like club you know like where you you like you know wh what you'd play for as a kid kind of thing um, it's, it's very small but it does look good not gonna lie it does it does actually look quite good um, I can't imagine this uh, have been that long to make really um, I mean, you've still got the pitch to work out, obviously, um, but um, it still looks good. I mean, I, I you know, I, I like this one, um, but it does definitely remind me of a, you know, local town's football club, such as, you know, the, you know, the Driffield FC type thing. But saying that, we, we don't even have any tiers at ours, so. Um, but yeah, right, have I, did I show you? Yeah, I showed you that one. Um, yeah, all right. I think that will about do it. Now, if obviously, if you do want to see more um, of these stadiums, you can go on to uh, Steve's YouTube channel, Steve Games, because uh, obviously he posts um, videos of, um, you know, touring stadiums. He also does live streams sometimes when he's building um, these stadiums. You know, if he's filling in a pitch or something, um, he starts a live stream. Um, so you can definitely go ahead and check out more. I mean, I could go on all day just going around uh, different stadiums, but uh, I'll leave it for you guys to check out for yourselves and uh, stuff like that. And uh, yeah, and if you want to see more tour videos as well, guys, uh, just, you know, leave a comment because I, I might, you know, be willing to start touring a few more uh, people's worlds as uh, one I did quite a while ago, got a decent amount of views. And uh, it still gets a few comments now and again today. Uh, so I'll be willing to throw some more up. Um, but yeah, other than that, guys, that's going to do it. Uh, please like, subscribe and comment. We'll see you guys in the next video.